Hello friends! When last we met, I was sewing the collar onto the bodice of this dress very incorrectly. It'll be fixed shortly, but first, let's attach the contrasting center front panel. The first order of business was to narrowly hem or bias bind upper edge and left long side. I decided to try the bias bind approach. I also decided to incorporate a mitered corner. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a mitered corner on a garment before. They're much more common in quilting and home decor. But hey, it sounded fun. Sewing mitered corners like this involves some fancy origami style trickery, so here I'm just marking the 45 degree angle from the corner that I will have to follow with the sewing machine in order to pull this off successfully. The bias tape was then folded back onto itself along the angled stitch line, and then folded back again, aligning with the top edge of the panel. Then I installed another line of stitches down the side. With all of those stitches in place, I then flipped the bias tape to the other side and folded the corner in the opposite direction to keep the bulk of the mitered corner to a minimum. I secured the bias tape with these handy clips, which I only had three of at the time, but have since been gifted many more. I also took a moment to fold in the raw edges of the bias tape before carefully stitching everything together with thread that actually matched for once. In retrospect, I doubt this is how it would have been done back in the day. For starters, it makes things weirdly bulky for a garment. And then there's also the issue of the seam allowance that's marked in the pattern, namely that it doesn't get reduced in any way, since I applied the tape directly to the raw edge of the pattern piece without folding it over. I will likely try hemming the next time I do this pattern. Meanwhile, it was time to join the center front panel to the rest of the dress along the untrimmed edge. I completed these steps flawlessly for once. In case this fabric is making you think that I have no fashion sense whatsoever, you're not wrong, but I must mention that since this is a test run of the pattern, I'm using cheap fabric that I don't care about. This fabric is from a hilariously loud sheet set that I bought at Goodwill. I promise the real outfit will be much prettier, and probably purple. The method by which I attached the collar meant that the seam allowance on this side of the garment couldn't continue smoothly from the front panel upwards. I had considered just leaving the collar as is, as this is just a test run, but it was making my eye twitch, and so it was finally time to fix the collar debacle by removing it entirely and reattaching it properly. Attaching the collar in the correct configuration required the slightest bit of easing on the bodice neckline, just as the instructions had mentioned that it would. Reattaching the collar was simple enough, and I'm glad that I took the time to do it. I have recently begun organizing my pins by length and color because apparently I have nothing better to do with my time. Nothing else in this apartment is as organized as my pincushion. With the collar installed properly, my side hem will now lie flat. All the raw edges will eventually be made neat on the inside with bias tape, but first, it was time to finally try this sucker on. As I do not have a dress form, all of my fittings are done on a hanger. We don't have room for a dress form in our tiny apartment, but that doesn't stop me from wanting one. I started by pinning the front center panel to the right side of the dress. This creates a tube, but it's only secured up to the waist. The opening from the waist up will close with snaps or hooks and eyes. As you can perhaps tell, I'm still not a fan of the 1920s silhouette. Where did my waistline go? I miss it. I removed the pins that were still holding the box pleat shut. 
While it won't exactly be a twirlable hemline, at least I can do whatever this is. Sophie the Cat is here to recommend that you tune in next time for the final installment of this dress mock-up series. I'll be adding the sleeves, putting the finishing touches on the collar, hemming, and maybe attempting the Charleston. Until then, thanks for watching. Thank you.